Hello everyone, and welcome back for more Fallout. Steve the scruffy looking cat herder here, playing games with his cats, for his cats, and for all of you cats out there watching. And if you enjoy the video, then please like and subscribe, and thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll get back into this here. Last time we, let's see, we went on a rad scorpion safari. Uh, took out a whole lot of rad scorpions. First there was the cave that was um, bothering Shady Sands. There was a nest in there that we went and cleared out. And then there was much rejoicing, and we helped the doctor in town, Razlo, create an antidote from uh, one of their tails, and healed Seth's brother, Jarvis, and got some more XP for that. And then we came over here in search of Vault 15, and fought a few more rad scorpions along the way. That's why we're in a little poor health there. Um, yeah, thinking of, we tagged Doctor we do have a doctor's bag. Let's see if we can get some XP before we go in here. But, um, yeah, we're currently on our way to explore Vault 15 and see if we can't find a water chip to repair the one back in Vault 13. Let's see, doctor. Number six. Let's see how this goes. We fail to heal anything. We can also click the doctor's bag. They have limited uses, but... They'll give a boost to our skill. We're gonna get so many chances per day. We'll try three here, see if we get any XP or hit points. No, we failed to do anything constructive. All right, that's fine. Eh, yeah, we'll do one more, see. It might tell us we're too tired to do anything. Oh no, we did get a fourth one in. We heal four hit points and get 50 XP for honing our skills. Oh, yeah, we'll find one more. We do, we have five tries. Be able to heal anything. We're probably done now. No, six attempts. Seven? We get a few more hit points. Oh no, it's just morning. Be able to heal anything. Number eight. Make eight attempts to heal. Nine. And okay, well, we're just gonna heal from the passage of time. We got 21 hit points. It's good. 11, 11 skill checks and uses out of that doctor's bag. I'm perplexed. Um, Ian looks a little wounded. Use a stem pack on him. Eh, yeah, here. Feeling better, Ian. He looks unhurt. Good. Now let's head on in and see what we find. Sledgehammer at the ready. Alright. Underground cavern with a rats. Different type of rat. A pig rat. I don't I have a knife. Did not bring a knife, darn. Alright, well, we'll just deal with the sledgehammer. Taking two attacks with the knife might have been a bit better than one with the sledgehammer. Hasn't noticed us yet. Yeah, ready. Cool. Ow. Nine points there. Six and three. I'll we'll smash you with a hammer. Um, yeah, we can take one step forward. A little better chance to hit there. Smack him again. Or not. Thank you, Ian. We'll take a stem pack for ourselves. See one walking around over here. Regular old cave rat. Yep. I kind of whiffed on that. We'll stay here. Don't shoot us, Ian. Thank you. Yep. Keep going around here. Kite these other ones out. Step by step. Oh, the one in the back came up. 
All right, got that one. Uh, just wait here for a moment. See if that other one wants to run at us. No? The combat and wait, because, um, yeah, we'll let it run in. Get its attack first. Come on, little ratty. There you go. All right, and it was killed. Is there anything worth finding down here? No, not yet. All right, yeah, we're just crushing through these rats here. Good. Ian, would you like to catch up? Close to that one. Three points. Right, I think there's just one more over here, maybe. I just down here. at the entrance to the vault control panel. The mechanism to open and close the heavy vault door has been damaged beyond repair. Uh, yeah, for some reason the vault door is here lying on the ground. It's now just a heavy piece of scrap metal. Let's see what we can find. There's a locker here. What's in the locker? Anything? Oh, a bunch of flares. This could be kind of useful. Let's put one in our hand and light it. They're also good for selling. But um, it's dark down here. We might get some better chances to hit. Oh, like there's a um, what is this? A lesser mole rat. Yeah, we have a lesser mole rat right there. We come up here into the doorway. Oops, it's seen us already. I was gonna go and throw the flare. Thirty-six percent. Eh, as long as it lands in the vicinity, it hit the rat, cave rat, for two points. Well, just smash it with a the hammer then. Bad rat. Can we get into the room? Good. Now Ian has some room to fire. One more. Um, is that the rat or Ian? Careful with the targeting here. I think that's the rat. 59. And we don't have anywhere to move. Bad rat. Hey, Ian took down the mole rat. And we got that one. Yay. Is that everything? Nope. Ian shooting the other one up in the corner there. Yeah, can we pick this up? We can. Put that back in our inventory there. Okay, we have an elevator shaft going down. And uh, medical on this side. Looks like all of the computers are off. No power whatsoever in here. No, there was one in the corner. And we'll hit it with a rat. Or hit this rat with the hammer. Okay. And oh, while we're in combat here, let's go back over to the flare. And we'll give it a toss at this guy. 40%. Oh, it went across the room. Cave rat was... I don't know. That was the first cave rat. It's way in the corner now. By the computer there. All right. And turn... Eh, in combat. Inch up on this guy. Uh, critically hit for eight points bypassing your armor. The blow knocks you off your feet. Doesn't look like we were knocked down. Bad rat. Um. 
I wonder if I wanted to take another stim pack or not. I think we're good for the time. How do we drop our sledgehammer? Ah, uh, it said we were... It didn't say we were knocked down. That doesn't matter. But I think instead of getting knocked down, we dropped our sledgehammer. Oh no, I just never switched it on. All right, I'm a little confused. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, it's behind the terminal. I don't think we can pick that back up. There's another walker up in this room and a rat somewhere. Somewhere. So a bunch of XP for mauling some rats. And in this locker we will find ooh, a first aid kit and four stem packs. Nice. Anything else? Nope, just our flare. Oh, a couple more flares in that room. And there's an elevator shaft here. Let's go activate it. This elevator shaft cannot be descended without a rope. Yep. Where I screwed up last part and had to reload back to Shady Sands and grab the rope. A little disappointing to come down here and then have to go all the way back. So let's use it. Oh, I just equipped it. Will it work this way? It does. Nice. So we successfully sling the rope onto and down the elevator shaft. And we go down. Where there are rats waiting for us. Alright, well that one was killed. Um, and turn. Good. I think we are going to take one of those stem packs that we just picked up. Much better. All right, who wants to come get some? You do. Oh, that was short lived. <laughs> Next. Head down towards this room in the corner. There's the other pig rat. Yeah, we're making short work of these guys. This one wanted to come up and play. Um, let's see, two to get in on it. All right, we'll run in, take one swing, and three to back away. Except, right, we act first. Where are you? Oh, Ian killed it. I should read the text. Okay, we're good. And Ian got that one, too. Okay, we can end combat for now. One more back here. Oh, I stepped right on it. It's gone. This other one should notice us in just a second. Yep. And bit us. Well, that'll teach it. And we have some alt dorms down here. This? Yes, this is the one. Where the item highlight key becomes useful. We run around back here. Uh, lavatory. 
we'll find on the ground. Damn, it's a hunting rifle. Yep. So we'll pick that up. Not going to be using it, but it is a very good, very solid weapon. Which you can find nice and easily right here near the start of the game. Yeah, maybe a good idea to come here before taking on all the rad scorpions if you don't have a good weapon. Pick that up, it'll make short work of them as well. There's some ammo down in this room. Any rats? Yep, there was one. And he's gone now. Where's the ammo? Some two, two, three rounds. That one was just around the corner. I'm try to remember their locations while they're highlighted, but they do wander. So. end combat yet. Hey, you know what? Just bring him down. But Ian missed us on that one. See some ammo. Some more rats up around the corner here. Too close. And right up on the rally, guy's gonna punch it. Oh, there's some X there. As we moved up, let's see. A case on the wall says Uzi 9mm for emergencies only. The glass is broken and the case is empty. With combat, yeah. Good. Some more 223 ammo. Oh, okay, let's hold the shift key to walk. That's what it was. Where? Huh. Before I found a firearm up here. But all we got now is the ammo. Yeah, nothing back in this corner, but the thing on the wall said, uh, in case of emergency, break glass. And somehow or another, I've come up here and found a little, like, Gizmo's 9mm... Yeah, it fires the 9mm ball rounds. But, yeah, it might be, a. Uh... Hmm. Darn, a little disappointed, and I don't know why it's not here this time. Maybe it has to do with a lock check. Curious. See wall. Nothing out of the ordinary. And pass on the elevator shaft for a second. See if there's any. Yeah, I'd usually find it on the ground somewhere around the I'm out here. Doesn't seem like there's anything to target the hammer at. All right. I could just be misremembering, too. Let's see if there's any more raddies. Three of them. Right. There's a very important walker we want to get to here. As another rope we'll take, but more importantly, leather armor. First set of armor, and we definitely want to equip that. 
armor class 9, up to 17, and now we have a whole bunch of resistances to go along with it. Um, no, I think that would be like the damage threshold reduction. But um, yeah, we still get resistance. So that is going to help. 20% against normal damage and a better armor class to boot. Stop getting beat up by rats in here. All right, it's back in the corner. I'm here, I want your XP. Thank you. And one right outside the door here. There he comes. One more in this last room. Nah, there's nothing else back here, though. So where are you? Behind the wall, I think. Yep, there it comes. But I think we can just walk in and smash it. We've been doing pretty well. Oh, yeah. All right, that's this level cleared out. An elevator shaft in the middle here. Use one more stim pack. See what we can do with this first aid kit we picked up, maybe. Uh, we might be out of healing chances now for the doctor's bag. I might not get as much off of this. Are we too tired? No. Nope. Nope, but we do fail to heal anything. It takes a little bit of time to do this, too. Worried about the clock. Any reason? Hey, we got two hit points off that one and 25 XP. Excuse you. And failed to heal anything again. All right, enough of that. Let's take a stim pack. All right, level three. Let's go. Oh. We need another rope. All right, we successfully sling the rope down the shaft, too. And guess what? More rats. Let's go. Let's see where they are all. All are. Not too close. We'll head up to that room on the side there. You know this to be the meeting room for the vault where the emergency supply cabinet would be is buried under tons of rock. Swing and a miss. That one got it. Sit for six points. And reloads. And pick. Swing and down it goes. Nice. Oops, can't end combat yet. Ian's gonna shoot that rat. Gotcha. Nope, he's gonna shoot the one in the back as well. Is that all for combat now? 125 XP and some ammo up here. Some 10 millimeter armor piercing. I wonder how Ian's doing on ammo. Bodies. The remains of pig are out here. Oops, there's one right outside the door there. Let's be careful. Oh, and another mole rat. Let's stay back here for now. Ian just runs out and gets bit at. I guess we'll have to go help. And we're engaged with the lesser mole rat here. Two swings. Yes. 
Seven points and two points. A little bit of faith in our new armor there. But he ain't got our backs. Missed the figurehead. Ending the turn instead of the combat, so Ian just keeps rushing ahead. Did he kill it? Hey, I think it was killed. Oh no. Here. And that guy comes into the room. Is that everybody now? 245 XP. It's in these lockers. Some explosives. Two grenades. Alright. Finally find some grenades. And, oh, and a submachine gun. Ian would like to have that submachine gun, but he's not going to get it. No way. Nah. Giving Ian auto fire, rapid fire. Nah, we're, we're gonna get sprayed in the back with far too many bullets. But he can have that ammo. It's gonna go to the skill decks. That's right, steal. Okay. Have all of that. And, um, yeah, we can have those other two scorpion tails while we're at it. Okay. One more stem pack. Just in case. Morad coming up on us. Let's take one step towards it and get two swings. The sledgehammer has some range, but we're terrible at hitting things. This way, yes. It seems that the command and control center is buried under even more rock. We will have to look for the water chip elsewhere. We earned 500 XP. We get ooh, a new weapon. Crowbar. Let's have a look. See. Sledgehammer, four to fourteen. Crowbar, five to fifteen. Range of one. Where did the action points go? Yeah, it uses 4 XP, or 4 AP. You will stick with the sledgehammer, because it does have that extra reach to it. I <laughs> critically missed and attacked randomly. Jeez. Killed that rat. Can't end the combat yet. I guess we'll just move up a little bit. Oh yeah, we're still we're still engaged. Mm. Yeah, we'll just walk up a little bit and try to bring things towards us. step forward and hit it again. Mm 
how many do we have left? Three cave rats in that room. Quite a few down in this room. We're going this way. Ian would have rather gone the other way. Take that one step forward. And miss. Eh, do that one step again. Get a little closer. Try to just take it out. Nope. Missed on everything. Ian saved us. Thank you, Ian. This might be able to take out that rat. Nope. We're just going to miss. Oh, it's right there. It'll barely get it past Ian's head. All right. One more around this wall. Somewhere over here. Oh, we're terrible. Need a little more melee skill. Hello, ready. Where are you at? Eh, just go for it. Hey, a new level. Excellent. Let's see, we're now level four. Our title Fault Elite. Let's see what we get. Alright, I think we're good on science for now. I think we want a few points in this speech, though. I think that's what we needed for Curtis. Sure, we'll push that up to 41. Melee weapons. Yeah, let's keep that moving up the right way. 65. And Hmm. Keep pushing lockpick a little, maybe. Okay, sure. We'll take that. A walker in the corner. With uh, some 44 Magnum FMJs. Found a desert eagle yet. Anything else? Nope. There's a book back in that room. And a few more rats. Let's go. Nope. Oh, over. Oh, good. Stopped just in time. Not much better chances to hit now. First aid book. So we'll read that and raise our first aid skill. And one more rat. Okay, and that should have been the entirety of Vault 15 here. No water chip. The whole command center where it would have been is collapsed under rock. So, um, yeah, let's head back up to the surface. Uh, meet you topside at the shack. All right, back up top, outside in the shack. Uh, let's see, let's read that first aid book we got. We're currently at 17. And we now have 25, an extra eight points on the first aid skill. Wonderful. Uh, 
pull that first aid box out again too before we hit the road. I'm still failing to heal anything. Oh, and yeah, you can see the time passing as it's now getting darker out. Oh, two points and 25 XP. Four points and the supplies in the kit run out. All right, we're good. Get down here, hit a quick save, and let's make our way back towards Shady Sands and Vault 13. And we run into a bunch of lesser mole rats. Yippee. A little more outdoorsman skill will reduce the frequency of random encounters here. But we'll take some more XP. Why not? These things aren't so tough. Say that, then we're going to get wrecked by them. Get them in. That's right, run away, coward. Uh, may as well go all in. All right, we only took six points there. Good job, Ian. In the combat. We'll try to kite this last one over to us. I still got a bite in. Oh, he, he and just knocked it around. And then we finish it off. The coup de gras. Bit more XP for our troubles. Here to exit grid. One more quick save and try to make it to Shady Sands. Okay, and here we are in Shady Sands. And yeah, we've probably run up the clock a bit on this one. Um, next time, let's see, we're going to make our way back to Vault 13, we'll report back to the Overseer that, you know, Vault 15 was collapsed and we've returned empty-handed and see what happens with that. And there's a little more we can do in Shady Sands now. Uh, one thing we can do is go talk to Curtis, hopefully I won't forget to do that. And, yeah, something else has happened in our absence. And we'll get into that and figure out what's going on. Next time, yeah, let's put away our sledgehammer now so I don't forget to do that too and upset Seth so that the town guard gets called on us again. But uh, yeah, yay, Vault 15, bunch of, bunch of rats and a lot of XP for them. But, and so, yeah, so until next time, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope everyone had fun and goodbye.